In this video we're going to go over altering or changing tables. So why would you need to alter tables in the first place? Well let's say for example you created a table and then additional needs came about. And this would allow you to change the definitions of your columns or it would allow you to add new columns based on what has happened. Now this shouldn't affect any of the data in your database unless of course you change the table definitions or the column definitions to be something that is shorter or doesn't really hold the data that would be in the table. So you got to be careful about this command. So the basic syntax for an alter table statement is the you say alter table and then the name of the table that you want to change and then the specific action. So these are the following actions you could take. You could add a new column, so you specify the column name and then the definition, and whether or not null or no or any of the other things that we talked about in the previous video. You can change the column definition. For example, you say change and then specify the column that you're changing, and then the give it a new column name if you're going to change the name of the column, and then the new column definition if you're going to change the column de definition. So, for example, if you're going to change it from date to date time, this is how you would do that. You could drop a column by saying the, using the drop syntax. You could add a constraint such as a foreign key that maybe you would neglected to add. Or you could drop a constraint by do, using the same type of command. So let's look at an example where we're asked to add a new column of customer type to the customer table with a default value of a commercial. So we could say alter table and then we're going to alter the table of the customer. And then we're going to add the customer type attribute or column we're going to say the data type of this is going to be bar chart 20 and the default is going to be commercial so every time I insert a new record it's going to be commercial unless I specify differently